Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial about the filter device. What it is and what you can do with it, I will tell you right now, but let's get started. So this is the filter device and it's a very simple and easy device and uh, as well powerful. So there's the on-off knob, the different presets you can choose from the title, the remote pages where you can choose some remote pages or create your own. And then there is the filter panel, as, uh, the modulation panel as well. So then you have here um, display and you see when I move, uh, move the mouse, you see on the horizontal there is the frequency on the vertical there is a percentage. The frequency, the horizontal, is mapped to this knob and the vertical is mapped to this knob. This is the filter cutoff. You see it also in the info bar down below, the frequency, and this is the resonance. So, and in this display, you see uh, some numbers, 20 is, uh, there are the Hertz numbers, 20, 100, 1K and 10K and above. So if I play a sound now and the filter device is switched off, it's this sound. Just a simple sound, so you notice the um, differences when I switch on the, um, the filter. Now the filter is currently off because it's here on bypass mode. And here are two another dials. This is a pre-gain and this is a post-gain. You can see that all if you click on the device. Click on help on um, F1 like this, then you get the help. Because I zoomed in the whole desktop, uh, I have to scroll here, but uh, here you can see all the descriptions of what it is and so on. And you can dial, uh, you can use that device as well. So if I switch it on, I have to choose one of those filter nodes. And maybe I start with this one, and this is a low pass two pole. And low pass is, um, there are two words normally. Uh, some of the devices, and depends on which device are, they're calling this a low pass, and, and other um, call that um, high cuts, because this icon, I will show you on the EQ Plus, this icon is just doing that. See this simple, it's just coming from the left and going down to the right. So it cuts the high frequencies. So I can cut that far more down with my high cut. So, and the two pole means, um, if you look at the help again, the two pole means it, uh, it has 12 dB per octave. And that means that in if I look at this, this is a um, two pole as well. So if you go from here down to here and every octave in the frequency spectrum, um, it, uh, it uh, attenuates the volume. And here it's like um, how steep the curve is going down, it changes the volume. So if I have a, if I have a two pole, um, slope over here. It means every octave that's on the um, horizontal axis, on the x-axis, like um, an octave, it goes down on uh, 12 dB because one pole is 6 dB and two pole is 12 dB. You can see it here as well, like in the description, one pole, 6 dB, two pole, 12 dB, four pole, 24, 6, 36. 848. So if I, for example, choose the, let's choose the four pole and just watch over here, it gets, gets much, much steeper. Or I use the eight pole, it's even more steeper. And it changes the sound as well, because here you have a more smooth cut off of the sound and if you um, choose steeper curves it's not that uh, gently anymore it's cutting really hard so that's the low pass or high cut 
um, filter with the two pole and the four pole. Then you have a band pass filter and the band pass filter normally, it looks a little bit like, let me see, like just take a normal, like that for example. And um, this band pass filter you can uh, move around like that if you use that. And here you have as well, you see in the info bar down below, the two pole filter and you have the four pole filter. So this is much steeper, for example. Then you have the high pass filter or it's called low cut filter as well. You see here the low cut filter, maybe just like that. This is the low cut filter. Here it's called high pass filter because it lets um, passing the high frequency and cuts the lows away. There's a two pole filter as well and a four pole filter. And then there is a notch filter and the notch filter is doing something like that, for example. And you see it as well in the icon representation. It's doing like that and with the filter frequency or with the frequency or cutoff filter, you move it around like this, for example. So, and now you have the resonance here as well that you can put up and down. And the resonance is something if I use, for example, these high pass filter or low cut filter, for example, this resonance is you emphasize that part where your filter starts. So now you can emphasize this and create some like some resonances. That's why it's called resonance or resonance filter sometimes. So, and then you can put that very high and uh, create some um, feedback um, or other effects. And I play now this sound and just play a little bit with the different filters from left to right. So you hear it, um, so you hear it um, hopefully relative good what it's doing. So. left to right. So I'm cutting out the high frequencies and the leftovers are only low frequency. It let's just pass the low frequencies. And if I use the resonance, it goes over here. And you see and you see in the display, the white lines is that part that comes out of the filter and the, um, the waves without the white line is that part that is cut away. So if I use now a four pole filter over here, there's the resonance you see, it's putting a resonance over here. If it's already loud, it gets very loud. For example, then you have the band pass, and band pass is often um, used for telephone effect, for example, because it's just using um, a special part of the frequency spectrum. And with the four pole, the effect is even more noticeable and if you move it you get uh, different effects as well for example and here is the band pass filter uh, the high pass filter sorry where it um, cuts off the low frequencies so i could get rid of this rumbling over here for example but lose a little bit body of my sound. You see, this is that the leftover of my sound and this is everything that comes in here. And the notch. You see how the wave is changing here a little bit. The 
white lines. Just cutting out see the difference between the white lines and the dark gray line. And you could create something like um, uh, some filter effects for that. Okay, that's everything about the filter. I hope you liked that video. And um, I would like to ask you to do me that favor. Because hopefully you liked that video or liked my other videos. So subscribe to my channel, give me a thumb up, share my videos, uh, send me some comments, some feedback, some questions. And I hope I see you in the next video again. Stay healthy. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.